Hello everyone. We're back again with yet another Earthbound hack. Since it's spring, I decided uh, we're going to play some Jeff's number one bass fishing. Because every game needs a fishing mini game, and Earthbound is no exception. Oh, it looks like my controller is not plugged in. How the heck did that happen? Give me one sec. Oh, we also have no game audio. Let's fix that too. There we go. Glad I figured that out before I started. Let's get that controller hooked up here. All right, we got the controller working, so let's get into it. Let's go with mint. Welcome to Jeff's number one bass fishing. Are you ready to kick some bass? Well, let's get started. You have three areas you can fish in. In each area, there are three marked areas you can cast from. I'll cover how fishing itself works once you cast. So, where would you like to go? Well, I guess we'll start with the forest. Hey, you think you could get me about 90 pounds of bass? Remember to use the items enemies and bass drop to stay alive. If you get me those 90 pounds, I'll show you something nice. Thanks a bunch. You cast your line into the water. Meet Hookman, Dr. Wily's greatest creation. No need for silly normal hooks. This guy does it all. Hook them? Let's just beat the snot out of them. And then catch them like Pokemon. If you die, though, it's game over. When you're done, head as far down south as you can in this map. You will then be pulled back up. The game also saves at this point. You can then check how many pounds of bass you have by pressing A. Post your high scores on starman.net. Have fun! Also forgot to mention, this hack is made by Reg. All right, let's catch some fish. Oh, I've got some uh, abilities here we can use. Hmm. Let's try a uh, dog. Oh no! Might have bit off more than I can chew here. Alright, we got a three for one.
Ooh, what's this over here? Uh oh, we got another three fur. Crab Daddy C Swagger. I love it. Oh, oh no. That guy's gone, it looks like. Alright, let's try again. The water is nice today. Oh no, it's this fight again. Let's let's see if we can uh let's try the hook shield. Hey there rare frogs, how's it going? Oh I don't have any PP, that's not good. What the heck? I gotta watch out for those cracking things. Just a hundred percent in Kirby's Dreamland 3. Good job. Dang, that's awesome. See, I'm not sure how to heal. I should have paid a little more attention in the beginning part. Fish. I'm not a dinosaur, I swear. Hey there, Super Stevio. Good to see you here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks again for following. I watched you for quite a bit last night before I uh, went to bed. I was kind of on and off until I fell asleep, but I kept the lurk up for you. Saw you all playing some Mario Kart 8. Looked like fun. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for popping in. Mario Kart 8? Oh yeah. I did a, a stream a while ago with uh, the Gremlin Pit. This is uh, Jeff's number one bass fishing. It's a hack of Earthbound. It's pretty wild so far. We do a lot of uh, a lot of earthbound hacks over here. I, I try to get get around to it like uh, every Monday. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, totally. Have you played uh have you played Earthbound before? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, definitely go check it out if you like Pokemon and quirky JRPGs. It's honestly been one of my favorite games since I was a kid. And then I found out there was a game before it and after it, which uh, were only released in Japan, but we got ways to play them now. The first one actually got released here, officially. Third one still hasn't made its way, but we got a nice fan translation out there. There's usually not this many fish. Yeah, I love finding out more info. I was super stoked to find out there were more games in the Mother series. Like... I, know, I, thought, I thought Earthbound was the only one. Hey, you think you could get me about 90 pounds of bass? Oh, he's just gonna say the same thing. I guess I didn't get 90 pounds. I don't know how to check, uh... Oh, I see. The, the money is now the, uh... The pounds. So I got 32 pounds, so I've got to get, uh... 58 more. I've never actually played Sam and Max, but I've heard it was really good. These things are rough. Let's get out of there. Once you start crying, it's hard to hit things. It's basically like getting sand attacked to death. A smallmouth bass. Magic barnacles. Okay, what do those do? These magic barnacles restore a good amount of PP. It seems like it sounds good, but too much PP is a bad thing. Especially with no bathroom around. Huh. Why are you eating barnacles anyway? Oh yeah, the old PP joke. Let's get some of that PP.
Oh no, I'm gonna die. I think that means I lose half of my fish. If it works like vanilla, you usually lose half of your money. Yep, I lost half my fish. Damn it. We'll get it. I don't think I've actually uh, ever played through all three levels of this. I played it a little bit a long time ago, but I haven't like finished it. So this will be the first time uh, truly running through it. I just gotta pay a little more attention to my HP, I guess. Got some magic barnacles. Let's eat some barnacles. Ah, barnacles. No, not the Kraken. I like that the bi curious Kraken. What do we got here? Only 28 pounds so far? Damn. That Kraken sure looks a lot bigger than it is, I guess. Gigantamundo bass. Super bass. I like how it does something fishy. Shit. 
that's the worst. Being diamondized when you're solo, it's just, it's, it's insta-kill. At least I got plenty of barnacles. I guess I should try to avoid the Krakens since they can insta-kill. Probably be a wise decision. I keep losing all my fish. Yeah, yeah, I was like... I always wanted to play Fire Emblem after I played, uh, played Melee. And then I always said, like, only in Japan, and I'm like, why? Why only Japan? And I was so happy when I was in, uh, Walmart one day, like, years later, and I saw Fire Emblem on the GBA, and I'm like, I need to get a Fire Emblem game. Thankfully, my mom got it for me right then. He knew how much I wanted, uh, wanted a Fire Emblem game. Yeah. Well, that one didn't actually have Roy. It had Elliewood, which I thought Elliewood was Roy. But, uh, apparently Elliewood is like, what, Roy's father or some kind of some kind of relative I, I don't remember if it was if he was Roy's descendant or if it was the other way around but he's actually related to Roy the one with Roy actually never got ported here there is a fan translation for that one though as well thankfully I love, I love that uh, fans take the time out of their day to, like, give us these games that Nintendo never did. I still haven't actually played through The Binding Blade, which is uh, Roy's game, but I, I plan on it. I'll probably do it on stream since, well, why not? It's going to be interesting to play a Fire Emblem game on stream. Yeah, Melee is great. I still play Melee every off and on. There's a really cool hack out there called uh, 20XX. Whew. And it adds uh, lots of trainers to help you get some tech down and stuff like that, as well as a bunch of maps and costumes. It also has the easy ability to play as Master Hand and Crazy Hand. I think uh, Giga Bowser and... Um, some of the wireframes as well are playable. My favorite version of Smash, though, is uh, not not official. It's called uh, Project M Remix DX, and uh, it's got like somewhere around over a hundred characters. A ton of stages. I don't even know how many stages, but like a ton of stages. Um, well over a hundred. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's Project M, but uh, Remix DX is expanded upon Project M, so it's like, it's got all of the fancy features of Project M, but with a ton of extra content. 
I would love to play it on stream for y'all someday, but apparently there's a, there's a rule on Twitch about not playing Project M, so unfortunately, I'm gonna, if I do that, I'm gonna have to go to like YouTube or something instead for that one. Else I get my channel C and D by Nintendo. I guess, like, you're technically allowed to stream it, but if you have or want to have a subscribe button, um, or any kind of info, you can't stream it because then you're technically monetizing it, and since I do have a Kofi page, or Coffee page, um, that pops up and stuff, I would not be allowed to, uh, I would not be allowed to stream it, they'd be C and D in my channel. Yeah, there's lots of lots of rules. I mean, most of them I generally follow anyway, because, like, I mean, I'm not going to be on here saying slurs or anything, you know? I, I don't generally say that in general. Um, but, like... Yeah, there's a lot of weird, like, unspoken stuff, like the Project M thing. Like, it doesn't even say that anywhere. It doesn't say that you're not allowed to play it, it's just implied, and other people that have done it have gotten C and D before. Oh no, you're good. I'm you didn't do anything wrong. Damn it. Like, I wish I could play Project M on here, but I've been warned by quite a few people just, just not to do it, not to, not to even chance it. Yeah, the trophies were really cool. I like how there's, you know, nice 3D renders, you can look at them, and uh, they always had little stories attached to them. I guess I should have healed. I honestly learned a lot about other games just from Melee, because it's got the whole backstory on whatever the trophy is. Damn, I'm down to 18 pounds. I was over like 32. I gotta watch my health a little better. Oh yeah, I remember that. 
I always thought it was funny too, because then I got Animal Crossing and, and I realized that uh, it said future release. Animal Crossing GameCube was uh was great. My mom and I played that game religiously. Like every day, multiple saves. We would have like I don't know, I don't know how many towns we had. We bought extra memory cards just so we could have uh extra towns in Animal Crossing because you could only really fit like one on each memory card, because it took up, like, your whole memory card. I think we each had, like, one or two towns where it was just all four, all four characters were us, and then we had, like, one or two where it was half and half and we shared the world like each of us had two characters and so we'd get on with every single character go get our fossils go do our daily stuff yeah dobutsu no mori i haven't got to really play too much of it at least, like, the, the 64 port. Oh, I didn't mean to head back yet. Thirty pounds. Still need sixty more pounds. Yeah, the GameCube, uh, the GameCube edition was, uh, bees and scorpions. Yeah, I remember. Th I don't remember scorpions, at least from the original. I do remember the bees. The bees are the worst. That was always terrifying when you see a beehive pop out of the tree. You're like, I gotta get to a house as quick as possible. I know there's scorpions in the the DS version, if I remember right. The DS version was fun too. Honestly, I think I've played like all of the Animal Crossings, except for like the spin-offs. I didn't really play much of uh, the phone game when it came out, or uh, the Mario Party-like game that they released. I didn't really get to try those. I think it's called like Amiibo Parade or something like that. Yeah, I remember playing with like the uh, the action replay codes, and it actually lets you do the uh, the 
like pass out animation as a uh... what is it like an emote? That was uh, Animal Crossing GameCube was the first time I played the game Clue Clue Land. I loved- I, I got uh, one of the little NES games and uh, it was Clue Clue Land and I remember playing the hell out of that game. It's back before uh, emulators were super big. Yeah, especially if you have a habit of, like, shaking every tree to try to find the hidden furniture and bells. Then it's, it's, yeah, you get hit by the bees a lot. I'm glad they added the medicine. I don't think, I don't remember if the original had the medicine or not. I know that was in, like, the DS version. Oh yeah, what I was going to say about the, uh... Oh, it did have medicine, but you had to ha- you had to hope that, uh, Nook's store had it. Or you had to, like, buy it in advance, just in case. Because they didn't always have it. I do remember that being kind of part of the thing. Yeah, what I was gonna say about the, uh, the NES things is... Did you actually know that, uh... One of the NES games that you get is, uh... Not really playable normally. Uh, everybody thought it was just for decoration. But it turns out, people figured out, years later, that that version of the NES that you can get in your house that doesn't have a game was actually meant to be used as an emulator to play more games later. Um, it was never actually used this way, but people have figured out that if you code the games a certain way, you can put any NES ROM you want into, uh, into Animal Crossing and play it through Animal Crossing. And apparently it's one of the best emu uh, NES emulators that, uh, that Nintendo's ever put out. Arguably better than some of their virtual consoles. Yeah, I found that. I don't know if it was Watch Mojo, but I, I did find that on YouTube as well. We catching lots of fish now. Almost there. We need four more pounds of fish and we could go back up and get the bounty. Mm -hmm. 
Got more Gigantamundo Super Bass. I think that should be enough, actually. Alright, we got 96 pounds of fish. Let's go. Time to head back with my bounty. Oh, hey, you did it. Since you were cool enough to do this for me, I'll teleport you to the volcano area. Oh, there's a cool weapon there, too. You can check it out when you become Hookman. I actually never played Sin and Punishment. That's another one I've heard of, but I've never uh, actually never tried it yet. All right, we made it to the volcano area. I'm going to be right back for just a few moments. All right, I'm back. Let's check out this volcano area. See what's going on here. The character Saki Amamiya from the original Sun and Punishment for N64, which was only in Japan, but it's in N64 online, was introduced as an assist trophy in Smash Brawl. Oh, nice. Lava fishing! Alright, let's go lava fishing! The lava is nice today, it says. We got the Mega Buster. Oh yeah, of course Lucas. They also added a lot of stuff from the story of Mother 3 in uh, Subspace Emissary. Uh-oh. Did I somehow level up too much before coming to the lava area? Because I just absolutely destroyed that thing. Oh, 
Oh, we got bass. I see. Yeah, bass. I know that's probably supposed to be bass, but uh, I'm sure bass is the joke here. <laughs> Wanna be final boss attack. Let's try paralysis, see how that works. Cried because he couldn't become the final boss. Wanna be final boss, watch Toonami. depressed because he couldn't be the final boss. Big sad. Bass and largemouth bass. <laughs> Mario with a gun. You know, I wouldn't be terribly surprised. There's got to be at least one ROM hack out there that's got that going on. Is this the f actual final boss here? Hi, I am a fish. Sega Bass Fishing is a great game. If you don't like it, then kiss my bass. <laughs> final bass. All right, let's try to paralyze the final bass. See if that works. <laughs> Oh, we got the easy fight. I got the... the paralysis. That music, though, that music is pretty damn good. You caught the ultimate bass. Now you will win all the pro bass tournaments. Woo! But instead, you decide to donate the bass to all the orphans in the universe. Now orphans everywhere will never go hungry again. Itoi congratulates you on a job well done. He couldn't be here in person because he is human. You are swimming in lava for cripes sake. Ain't no way he's coming in here. Anyways, the world is saved. The end. Put in your name and then some credits and stuff will show. Yeah, the puns are real in this one. Once again, thanks, Ray. 
and to Mr. Tenda, Captain Bozo, HS, Michael Kerr, Tomato, and Mr. Accident. And Ox Cat, whoever that is. I wonder if the credits will play all the way through. I'm kind of curious. I feel like it's going to play like as long as the uh, staff credits normally go and then it might try to go to the default ending or like maybe a special secret ending so we're going to stick around and see what happens. Might as well. If nothing happens in uh, about like three minutes or so I'll probably uh See if I can get the speed button going. See if we can speed it up a bit. I'm gonna make sure to cover the other two areas as well. It's a short hack, so uh, I've got time to play through it all see everything it has to offer. Then I'll probably switch over to some more Tetris Attack and grind those times out. I still have Loser's Bracket for the tournament some at some point. Not sure exactly when yet.
All right, it's been that three minutes. I'm gonna see, uh, let me see if I got my hotkeys set up for speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. That's one thing I love about Earthbound hacks is the humor. Now you get some hyper mode remix. 700 FPS remix. Okay, I think I think by now the credits would have already rolled over, so it probably just hangs there. I'm going to reset. Let's go check out the other uh the other sections. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but uh well, why not? We only checked out the forest, so let's see. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad you're enjoying it so much. Let's see. I guess we'll we'll try banana for this one just just cuz got to switch it up. We're ready to kick some bass. All right, we went to the forest. I guess we'll go to tundra next. Where's that guy at? Don't mind me. I'm just hanging around. Check out the tent, by the way. Uh-huh. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nothing in the tent. Might as well go from this point. This looks like the best fishing spot. Oh no, not the Kraken! The Kraken immediately! Look at that little mustache. The Kraken actually gives you a lot of XP. Nothing else seems to give you XP. I didn't catch any pounds of fish there. You'd think the crabs would give you something. Or the gigantic kraken. I guess you have to cast catch the bass. The bass are the only thing that matter.
<laughs> Show me your moves. I always love that. Damn it. I got my bass handed to me. Let's try this one. Oh. Alright, we're off to a good start now. I need barnacles though. Do I have any barnacles? I do. She played Mario 64 as a kid and she kept letting Mario drown. Ah, oh, the good old dire, dire dock stage. I always like the uh, the lava stage where uh, you fall in the lava and Mario's like, <laughs> that part always kind of cracked me up. Although it also infuriated me when I was like actually trying to beat the level and die. Try to single them out, be a little bit easier to catch them. I played a lot of Mario 64 as a kid. I think, if I remember right, it was actually one of the first games I remember sitting down and beating all the way through. But I probably didn't do that until I was like a teenager.
Oh, is it really? I still remember the first time I saw Luigi in Smash. I didn't actually know how to, uh, how to unlock him. So it was a real surprise to me when I saw that cutscene and Luigi comes in and stomps on Mario's head. I was like, wait, what? Until I got the strategy guide and I figured out how to like make it happen. Cold-blooded Luigi. Alright, almost enough fish here. Just gotta keep singling them out. It's the easiest way to go about this. Oh no! Oh no! I swear if this Kraken diamondizes me, I'm gonna be so pissed. There we go. Got some experience. Some crab legs. All right, we've got enough. Let's get out of here. Well, I guess we're fighting some fish. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, I gotta run.
No! No, 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 no! I'm not gonna be able to eat. I should have tried to run instead. Run away, run away, run away! Damn it! No! Oh, I had enough fish too, now I probably need to catch more. That probably dropped me down to like 40 fish. Yep, 49 fish. Alright, well let's let's check out the other area, I guess. I haven't gone over here yet. Did that count as a fish? That does not count as a fish. I guess ants are not fish. I'm not really surprised. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's something out there called an ant fish. Not quite. We're getting there. I believe that left side is where I need to go if I want to uh, escape. So we'll just hang around down here until then.
Almost enough. We're getting there. Should do it right here if I can catch him. enough. Okay, where is the guy that I need to give the fish to? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe he spawned in the tent now. This is odd. I can't find the guy. Can't go back to the volcano level if I can't find him. Let's see. The game saves when you go back, so maybe I'll just try to reload. Alright, yeah, let's try a reset, see what happens. We also get to see if it lets us pick a different area. I guess if we can't find the guy, we can just move on to the next area. We've caught the 90 fish, so... Yeah, no guy in here. Okay, yeah, uh, looks like a uh, guy didn't spawn in here, so I'll just go ahead and reset.
We caught our 90 pounds of fish, so at least there's that. Let's see, for the third place, I guess we'll, we'll do peanut flavor. We'll go to the beach. Hey, you think you can get me about 90 pounds of bass? Remember to use the items, enemies, and bass drop to stay alive. If you get me those 90 pounds, I'll show you something nice. Thanks a bunch. Okay, so it's a doggo this time. There is a little bit of graphic glitch. I don't know if that's uh, if that's normal or if it was like a patchy thing, but most of it seems to work right. So I don't I don't think it's a bad patch or anything. I think that maybe just the second area is bugged. Oh no, this is the worst combination other than like the kraken. All right, let's see what Hook Party does. I'm guessing that's PK Flash. It looked like PK Flash. Unfortunately, that's not gonna stop the problem of uh, getting stunned. Ah! Okay, I'm out of here. Eat my jerky. Oh, that's a bad combo. Oh. Right off the bat, the diamond eyes. That sucks. Ah! 
Alright, good, I needed those barnacles. I wonder what the uh, pound limit actually maxes out at. It's probably 9,999. Well, actually, I don't know. Well, I think that's the max amount you can normally carry. So probably, yeah, probably just under 10,000. I wonder what would happen, though, if you maxed it out and then got more. I wonder if it would actually, like, break the game or something. I'll have to try. Not today. Maybe another time for that. We'll do a challenge run one of these days to see what happens. I should have stayed away from that group. This is going to be bad. Okay, good. With only two of them, it's not that bad. Just three of them is rough. Because each of them has a chance to stun me. Lucky. An edible car? Excuse me? But what? Edible car. Wow, man, I don't even know. What? That's what I'm saying. Even the help, help text doesn't know what to think. No, no, no Kraken. That's okay. I'd rather have that than the Kraken.
almost at 90. Got them magic barnacles. If there's three of them, I'm staying away because I'm not I'm not about to get stun locked forever. You try to eat the ed edible car. Alright, 38 HP from the edible car. See, I'm at 72. Does this thing give me any... Any, uh, pounds? It does say it's a fish. Piggy jelly. That's nice. That does not count. Alright, be right back. One sec.
All right, I'm back. Let's catch the rest of those fish. See if it takes me to the same volcano area. Pretty safely deduce that only the the green bass actually count. Got enough magic barnacles, might as well uh might as well eat some. more. I think this should be the last one. Then I can go. Oh, that wasn't enough? Oh, that was just barely not enough. Heck. That's okay. I, th I think just one little trip down. Especially a Gigantamundo Super Bass. No Kraken! No Kraken! Oh no. Okay, let's just try that. shouldn't have tried to go up. I should have just fought the damn crabs. Ah. Oh well. How much did I lose? Four Down to 49 again? That sucks. Oh well. We'll get there again. Just means more fishing.
So I think each of those give me about 10. Yeah. We can just find a few more of those, that'd be nice. those ones alone. Need some crab legs. Get any crab legs. The heck. This should definitely give me some. Mr. Krabs. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> No crab legs. Damn. Oh no. Oh, I was hoping it'd be the big ones, not these. That's rough. I'm just gonna hope for some luck here. we go. Hey there, mush guys. This is uh, Jeff's number one bass fishing. Yeah, it is pretty hilarious. This is an old hack uh, made by Reg. Oh no. Yeah, we got the magic barnacles. Oh no, I'm trying to get some crab legs. Oh, the kraken's gonna do me in. Yep, there it goes. Diamondized. Damn. There goes like half of my fish. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the Krakens. They're kind of rude. If you get- this bad luck spawn, because if you get triple fish, it's also bad. Man, that's why you get stun locked sometimes. Hey, thanks for the follow, much guys. Much appreciated. Always lurking in the earthbound category. Yeah, me too. Definitely, uh, my favorite game series of all time.
I'm uh, trying to go through every Earthbound hack as well on this channel. So far we've got quite a few. Yeah, so many cool ROM hacks. I, I love the community. I need to try, uh, I, I've been watching a few people play PK Scramble. I need to try that one of these days, too. <laughs> Hollow's End, yes! Yeah, that's one of my favorites. I think that was actually the first one I did, if I remember right. I did that, uh, I did a big Halloween special thing last year. I did Hollow's End, I did Radiation's Halloween, and I did, uh, I think one other one. What was the other one? It was hard, yeah. That one was really difficult. Especially the like the parts where you gotta like try to figure out where to go, the forest. Yeah, the forest had me stuck for hours, I feel like. Oh, that's cool. Y'all played over net play. One of my friends and I were thinking of uh, doing that um, and playing Mother 25th Anniversary Edition. Live on stream from different parts of the world. That's so cool. I love the way that video games can bring people together. It's not popular at all. Yeah, I haven't heard too many people talking about it, but it seems really cool. different vibe. Would you say it was uh, harder or easier than standard? Fixes a lot of stuff. I imagine the balancing is a lot better. That's what I've heard. Secret Boss Akuma in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I don't think I ever made it that far in Street Fighter. I'm not terribly good at it. Lowered the random encounter rate and made certain bits doable. That's good. The, the random encounter rate is rough in that game. I've beaten it, I believe, twice so far with no hacks or anything. Probably, yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of people play Street Fighter, so I I've probably seen Akuma. 
Oh wow, three? Three fish? Ooh, and they're the Gigantamundo ones. I think that might actually give me enough to, uh, to move on to the next level. Okay, I've got enough fish. I'm gonna move on. See if we can get to the uh, get to the volcano, or if that's where it's gonna take me. Gotta watch out for those krakens. Being diamondized in anything solo is bad. I found that out the hard way. Stonehenge while playing my uh, Paula only. Well, Paula and Bubble Monkey run. You get diamondized, it's game over. Yeah, the damn mooks. The senior mooks, they got me good. I think that and Fire Spring were the hardest parts of that. Yeah, some of the hardest enemies in the game are in Stonehenge for sure. The Starmen weren't that bad, but the, uh, the mooks were. Oh yeah, frogs. I have totally seen, uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I love, I love Jojo. I haven't watched all of it, but I, I've seen a good fair portion. Uh, I didn't grind, grind for Sword of Kings because, well, I was playing uh, Paula and Bubble Monkey only. So I didn't even have Pooh available. I did some grinding for... What, what one is it? It's one of Paula's equips in the end. I think it's the... Was it the Holy Fry Pan? Somewhere in Fire Spring, I, I did some grinding for something, or maybe it was the the charm. I think you get a certain charm or something. I'll have to I'll have to look back on the VOD. But I do remember a fair bit of grinding, though one of them was handed to me like really, really, uh, really easy. Might as well grind up on a few things here just for fun. Beat up some stuff. Lots of level ups. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna try to do a solo Ness, uh, solo Jeff, and solo Pooh, as well as I might do a proper solo Paula run without Bubble Monkey as well. 
Though some interesting stuff happens with Bubble Monkey when you get to, uh... When you get to, uh, the Lost Underworld. The game has no idea what to do with itself. I have a, uh, one of my featured clips. Oh, well, there's, uh, Bass from Mega Man. <laughs> I love it. There are also a few parts of the game where it will hang if you, uh, don't have uh, certain characters in your party. Like, uh. I'm trying to remember where. I can't, I can't remember what parts. There's a bus up there. Why is the Runaway 5 bus there? I didn't see that before when I was here. Yeah, there was a couple parts where I had to use the uh, the debug menu again, which is it's how I got, you know, my solo Paula run in the first place. But I had to use the debug menu and put Ness back in, because otherwise the game would just crash. I think Magicant was one of them. I think I actually beat the boss of Fire Spring, and I had to I had to beat them twice if I remember right because of that, because I had to put Ness in the party. I may be remembering incorrectly, though. I want to fight the Runaway 5 bus. I, I need to... Oh, there it is. Okay. I fought everybody else. But I haven't fought the bus yet. I want to see what's up with that. The dwarf? Oh, I, I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and make a guess that this is a Dwarf Fortress reference. The dwarf shrieked a war cry. You lost at Dwarf Fortress? Yep, totally a Dwarf Fortress reference. I had a roommate that was super into Dwarf Fortress. Never actually played it though, because it uh, seems very, uh, very involved. Not bad, just uh, never took the time to learn it, figure out everything. Sega Bass Fishing is a great game. If you don't like it, you can kiss my bass. I love it. This game is hilarious. <laughs> Let's see how the, how the bag of Dragonite works here. I'm trying to do what I did last time and just hit with the paralysis. Whoop. Well, that works, I guess. Didn't want to do that. Easy. This is uh, my second time fighting the boss today. 
So far we've been through all three of the areas, but the second area I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find the NPC that would bring me to the, to the volcano. So we had to skip that one. But it seems like it just takes you to the same volcano, so that's alright. <laughs> yeah, I always thought that was pretty funny too. And there's credits. I think that's about all we got here. When you hit characters real hard and they puke in Street Fighter 2. I didn't know they did that. I've seen the, the stars and birds, but I've never seen the, the puking animation. That's funny. The stars, the stars and birds make me think of Roger Rabbit. God, I love that movie as a kid. Yeah, when I, uh, when I was little, my favorite character from that movie was uh, Benny the Taxi Cab. Alright, we're gonna reset. I got one more thing I want to try with this, with this one, and then we're probably gonna move on to some Tetris Attack. I want to see what happens if you click Nowhere. Wait, can I set this up? No, okay, that won't work. We'll just delete one of these. Ready to kick some bass? You gotta go somewhere. Okay, it just tells me I gotta go somewhere. Let's load in here and see if we can find that guy. And then if if not, which probably not, but uh... Yeah, he's like nowhere to be found. I think he's supposed to be in the tent because this guy tells you to check in the tent, but he's never there. Yeah, so we won't be able to, to make it through all the way in the tundra, but that's all right. All right, that's going to be it for Earthbound today. That was uh, Jeff's number one bass fishing. Lots of fun. Maybe one of these days I'll go through when I have a little more patience and try to uh, max out the the pounds to 9,999.